Hello everybody, this is Ethanomics. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I haven't had any videos to make lately, and I was doing some stuff in my personal life. So, today, we are going to be doing another fountain pen review. It is going to be the Jinhao 159 fountain pen. And I picked this up on Amazon, really great price, $9.99, prime shipping. And... It's red, medium nib, steel, plastic feed, and metal body. This thing weighs 50 grams, so it is a large fountain pen. As you can see there, metal threads and plastic threads in there. So, let's talk about the writing. This thing writes beautifully. For a pen that's uh, less expensive than this, it writes amazing. And I'm just going to give you a quick writing sample here, unposted. So, we are going to do the Jinhao. No, oh, that's an A, isn't it? Jinhao 159. It is a medium steel and the ink is Waterman that was a bit of skipping there but user error probably Waterman Serenity Blue Okay, let's do a writing sample. This is what every fountain pen YouTuber does, but I'm going to jump on the bandwagon. Again, user error. Very smooth writing pen. As you can see here, there's not as much, there's not uh, any skipping. Those skips that I had were just user error, and it really is a nice pen. Personally, from my personal preference, I like medium because it's not too broad and it's not too fine. But um, this this pen only comes in a medium. Um, but it is a number six size nib, so that's very universal. You can get one at goulaypens.com. Edison makes them, Monteverde, I'm pretty sure. There's some other pens that make them, uh, pen companies, that is. But yes, um, the nib that is on here is really nice. Um, I would say that it's a bit wet, but I think that I like that because it's smoother. And um, it writes great, so as you can see, it writes under its own weight. I'm not dragging it or anything across, well, I am dragging across the page, but not putting any pressure on it with my own strength. So, uh, yeah, let's do some S's. And, um, yeah, it's just a really nice pen. That was not a skip, guys. I just lifted the pen off the paper a little bit. Um, in terms of the line variation, you can look that up. I don't want to bend this nib because this is the only fountain pen that I have right now. On my last one, as you recall, if you recall, I reviewed the fountain pen that is the Pilot Metropolitan. Great pen, by the way. Um, I was in school, and I dropped it on, on the floor on the nib, and it bent it, so that was unfixable, and there wasn't any um, replacement nibs for it, so that's a shame, but um, nonetheless, it's okay. But, um, yeah, it's a really nice pen. It's got a great pocket clip on it. It's probably a little tight, but it's not too tight. It's got some good springiness. It's um, not flat against the cap, but it is kind of lifted. On the cap here, it says, if you can't see that, it says Jinhao engraved on there, 159. Um, I don't have one of these pens with me. But this pen rem might remind you of a very famous pen in the fountain pen community. That pen is the Montblanc, Montblanc, or however you say it, 
Um, 149. Meisterstruck. That's, or I think that's how you say it. It's very similar to this, especially the black one, but I got this red one because it looks very nice. But um, personally, I think this is greater value for me because I am in school right now and I just wanted a fountain pen because I love the fountain pens, even though I've only had two. This is my second one. But um, yeah, that was my review of the Jin Hao 159 fountain pen. I hope you guys like this and this has been Ethanomics. Goodbye.